men on a date you should be there 15 minutes early and i should be there 15 minutes late and the 30 minutes that you're alone you should think about what you've done i want to be with you and i want to be with you and others the weirdest thing ever keeps happening to me where guys think they literally stand a chance boy math is him inviting you over to his place after a really bad first date you saying no and then he asks you again and you say no and then he insists on walking you your you to your car and he tries to kiss you there and you say no and then he well, runs away like a little embarrassed boy and then not more than five minutes probably still at a red light texting you hey i didn't feel any vibes for you um good luck with everything and this is just not gonna work out boy math is having an inflated ego thinking the date is going well and then getting rejected and then texting me to get ahead of it because you're so embarrassed <laughs> i'm at the age where if he's not my husband he's not my boyfriend let's talk about it what i mean by that is if i am going on dates with someone and i realize that they are not the love of my life they're not my husband then i will not put a title on that relationship because how is my husband going to find me when i'm cuffed in a relationship just let me share with you some dating tips i now do okay so this is a team never accept same day plans i don't care if it's all let me take you to dinner or let's grab drinks and so sometimes it'll be stinging sometimes i'll be manifesting certain guys and they hit me up the day of and be like oh let's go get drinks or let's get dinner and i'm like damn i really like i manifested this fool i really want to go with him but you gotta just nope and i'll be like no like sorry you know just next time you know give me a heads up next time let me know a little bit earlier i already have plans never accept freaking day of plans 24-hour notices 24 hour notice next thing texting okay we're gonna do the hot cold method 100 percent, it works okay so you're going to text some and then kind of do a back-to-back -back. maybe like maybe like two three replies quick quick okay obviously he's gonna be already like okay quick replies right and then after you want to wait a mm, couple of hours or the next day sis hot cold hot cold that's what we're gonna do next thing is in person i'll be fun i'll be however you know however I, I usually am bubbly out there this and this through text i'm very dry because it's a little shot of dopamine you're gonna be like damn like when i'm around her she's so this she's so that but in text like it's gonna make you or make the guy should i say want to see you more sis a little shot of dopamine natural okay it's all good um next thing you guys is that i don't accept bare minimum dates okay for the last couple of dates i've been on they've all been fine dining they've all been rooftop little dinner spots it's all gonna be like that it's never gonna be somewhere you would go with your family you know it's not gonna be like, like you want to wine and dine me boo show me how much what's good guys it's your boy justin j coming to you with another car video let's cook boys let's cook all right five signs that she's wasting your time things women say and what they actually mean a lot of dudes are going to get frustrated with this understandable things are going to seem to be going well and moving along well with the woman out of nowhere she starts sending you mixed signals starts playing games or even off rip she's trying to play with you but see the thing about when you know a woman's games and you know how they operate it just makes the game uncomplicated, simultaneously making you more attractive. Since we're on the topic of uncomplicated and becoming more attractive. The sponsor of today's video is Tej Hanley. A lot of guys are always asking me, how can I become more attractive? Honestly speaking, having a quality skincare routine is the first step you need to take to become more attractive. And Teach Hanley simplifies the entire process of taking care of your skin. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing you don't. I still don't think some of you believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 and a PM moisturizer. And they make it simple for guys like us. They provide this instruction card and in every box that tells you when to use each product, how to use each product and in what order. It definitely comes in the clutch. Skincare wasn't always something I took seriously, but as soon as I got my hands on some Teach Hanley, 
everything became clear. It's a complete game changer, but you don't just have to take my word for it because they have over 7,000 five-star reviews from satisfied customers all around the world. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. So when you don't take things personal and you know what they're on, it makes everything easy. You're easily able to detect, okay, this chick likes me, this chick doesn't. I keep jumping on these one-on-one -on -one calls and I'm glad to help the brothers and I see it in the comment section. And sometimes dudes just won't let it go and they act like they can't comprehend or understand when a woman is just not into them. It's always followed by, you know, well, she said this and she did that. Okay, was she doing things with you or just doing things, saying things, acting a certain type of way, giving you mixed signals, sending you weird vibes? A woman is going to say a lot of things. You should never be paying attention to that. This is why this video is going to be very crucial and important. All right. So with that being said, I got a couple of talking points we're going to go over. Let's get straight into the video. Number one, she acts better than you. She acts better than you. See, a lot of dudes are not going to understand that, but they can feel that energy when a woman is not, when she's just not showing you that interest, when she's not happy to see you, when she's just kind of playing it cool, acting standoffish. See, the thing about when a woman acts standoffish, sometimes that's to raise attraction to see if you can break through that barrier. But a lot of the times she's just not that interested. She wants you to take the hint. So you should just move out of the way. So if a woman is trying to give you resistance of any type, some friction, that's not good. But if you approach a woman and she's looking standoffish, the moment you open up your mouth, her whole mood will change. She will see you. She will like what she sees. Or if you meet her on an app, she will like what she sees and she will talk to you. But if you're trying to talk to her, and she keeps acting standoffish, she wants nothing to do with you. See, she thinks she's a celebrity and she thinks that you're a fan by you sitting around and entertaining it and keep coming forward. When you keep coming forward, trying to make things happen, she has no choice but to treat you like a fan because you're not getting the hint. Move out of the way. Okay. When a woman is acting like she's better than you, she's not going to accept certain things. She's going to act like you need to do more. OK, because she thinks she's better than you. And by nature, women walk around and they think that they're better than us because they get attention. They get so much attention. They have access to certain things that we don't have access to on demand. OK, for you as a man, you got to go out here and work hard for money. You don't have simps that want to take care of you like that. Just know that it's nothing against them. It's just the truth. This is why they will act like they're better than you because most simps inflate their ego. So you need to know that. But if you don't inflate her ego or try to go above and beyond, you're not a simp. So always pay attention to that. But just know women think they're better than you and you're not going to help yourself if you keep coming forward at her. It's just going to inflate her ego more. Number two, she's always busy. Most dudes like to give women the benefit of the doubt, but if it's two weeks in a row that you're trying to make plans with this woman and she's saying she's so busy, just know this, for guys that they really like, they make time. They will go above and beyond. Always know that. Test women too. Same day dates. Yo, what are you doing tonight? Because a woman will go out of her way and do things that she's not normally used to doing for a guy that she really likes. So if she's acting busy all the time, Listen, man, she's just wasting your time. Number three, flaking on plans, FaceTimes, meetups, everything, bro. Everything. If she constantly keeps flaking, it's not a good sign. She's just wasting your time. All right. This is why you need to be, you know, just you have to have an abundance mindset, man. You can't really care like that because when a woman does flake on you, you'll be like, oh, okay, cool. It's not a problem. Not to her. Like 
it's not a problem to you. You have a backup plan. This is why you should always have other options. You can have a backup meetup, if anything. And here's the thing, man. You got to get so cold to the point where you'd rather be alone than be around somebody who would play with your time. I'm not that desperate to really want to go all the way out of my way. See, most dudes will even operate like this. Oh, well, oh, well, if I have to, if I have to come to you to make things work, I'll come to you. No, bro, you got to be comfortable and solid just being alone. Don't be so outcome dependent because when a woman flakes on you, this is why I tell you dudes, don't jump out of the window on first dates. You make reservations. You've got plans at least 20 miles away where you're going to be doing all this driving you want to go pick her up no don't do it because you're going to be pissed because you're trying to put so much energy into somebody who doesn't even value you like that and honestly on these meetups first dates how much can this person know about you to understand like you're really valuable like really care about you like that no chill out bare minimum bro bare minimum let the woman show you that she respects your time and then you can keep coming forward but off rip no because when a woman flakes you're going to get upset number four high standards you never want to deal with the woman who has high expectations or high standards i'm telling you she's going to waste your time because here's the thing if you start out like that accommodating and going above and beyond this is going to become the standard she's going to want you to continue doing these things see most dudes that pay for all these extravagant dates and try to go above and beyond are going out of their way and don't even make that money like that yeah you got high value simps or simps that make a lot of money but a lot of the times you know dudes will actually go on a date and try to spend all this money and then they're anxious when the check comes and they're, they're hoping, oh, I hope it's not really that expensive or they're counting everything on the menu. She's ordering a drink. You're ordering a drink. She wants another one, then another one. Then she orders an entree, a dessert, shit, an appetizer, entree, dessert, and you're over there shaking in your boots. Don't do it. Don't jump out of the window, bro. You still got to respect yourself and put yourself first. So never deal with a woman that has high standards. You're going to shoot yourself in the foot every time. And here's the thing. When a woman really likes you, you can do the bare minimum. So if you go above and beyond and you don't even know if this chick is sexually interested in you. Oh, yeah. You got a problem on your hands. You're wasting your own time. Yeah, she's wasting your time, but you're wasting your time as well. So slow down. If she's expecting a certain outcome of the night or she wants you to take her to a certain place or she has a list of places this is why i tell you dudes when you're offering a date and she gives you an ultimatum when a woman does that she's always going to try to lead you in the direction of going somewhere expensive you know that saying you could lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink okay she could try to lead you to the water but you don't have to drink though you just don't deal with her i don't care how good she looks all right don't deal with women that have high standards and high expectations because you on the other hand you have high standards right you want her to act a certain way you want her to look a certain way when she shows up on the date right but wouldn't a woman be like you know that's not fair you have all these expectations out of me so okay vice versa you shouldn't have all these high expectations out of me you should be showing up to have a good time with me you shouldn't be showing up for the environment and the date Number five, if she does not flirt with you or get touchy, she is wasting your time. When a woman really likes you, she can't help it. Even if a woman is acting nervous and shy, when you check it or tell her, you don't have to act like that. I don't bite. There's nothing to be nervous about. I know you're nervous, right? She's going to come out of her shell. I even know this because one time a woman acted so standoffish with me. You know, I pulled up to the front of her house. Just she hopped in the car. We were talking. She was trying to create so much distance in between us. I remember it like it was yesterday. And I'm looking like this, like, what the heck is wrong with this chick? And the conversation was dry. So maybe about 10 minutes passed and I got upset. I'm not going to lie. I got upset and I just told her, get out. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you could just get out right now. You know, things aren't going to work out. You're not interested. She's like, oh, but, 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 you know? trying to get on my good side, trying to fix things. So I just said, you know, it's cool. Don't worry about it. She got out the car. I went home. She was calling the whole time that I was going home. I finally answered when I got home and I'm like, what? 
She's like, oh, I don't want to ruin anything. I'm really interested in you. I'm just nervous. You make me so nervous. I'm like, here's the here's the deal. This is what's going to happen. The next time we meet up, we have to make things happen or I just cannot. I can't deal with you anymore. I'm telling you, two days later, we smashed. So, yes, you can break through that if you check it like and let her know. Listen, I'm not with any of that. But a lot of the times you dudes are going to go for a kiss. She's going to move her face. She's going to act weird. Tell you, I'm not that type of girl. I don't do things like that. I need time to get to know somebody and blah, 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 right? No. If she doesn't want to at least hug and kiss, she's not interested in you like that. There's no, there's no other way about it. See, and here's the thing too. You're being groomed. If a woman tells you, oh, I'm not that type of girl, I don't do that, you're going to wait. Now, imagine you get into a relationship with her and you want to have sex, you want to kiss, you want to be all romantic or cuddle or do whatever, any type of thing like that. And she's like, oh, I'm not in the mood. She knows that she has you lined up for that already because of how you started. Remember why I said bare minimum. Don't deal with women with high expectations and high standards because that's where it starts. She's going to get used to that and think that's how you have to carry it along. Same way. Take it from me. If a woman doesn't want to get touchy feely, hug and kiss, she's just wasting your time, bro. All right, now let's get into it. Things that women say and what they actually mean. Okay, because I know you guys get confused. So I got 10 right here. Let's go over it. Number one, I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie just means I want you to wine and dine me. Because check this out. If a woman ever says, I'm a foodie, be like, yo, I know how to cook. I cook really well. You can actually come over. I guarantee you, right? Unless she's really into you, she's going to tell you no and give you an ultimatum or offer something else up to go to different restaurant spots. Because if you know how to cook really well, you can cook a bunch of things and we can all try them together. We can try them together at my house, in my living room, in my kitchen. What's up? And she's going to quickly let you know that, oh, no, 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 no. I meant let's go on dinner dates. So always know that. Number two, sorry, I got your text late. I got this text late. She didn't get it late. Women are always on their phone. Women are always on their phone, even when they're at work and they're working, they have their phone in front of them. Their notification will go off. They look at it and they don't text back. Think about it. You know the deal because you see your phone. It might not be on you at all times, but you check your phone occasionally. You will see when a text message pops up. It's just that if you don't want to answer it, you're not going to answer it. It's the same thing and vice versa. When a woman's really interested in you, she will be texting you back quick. A woman will keep texting you to the point where you're like, Damn, this chick, I want her to leave me alone. All right. But when she's not interested in you like that, she's going to play this push pull hot and cold game. OK, don't deal with it. And like I always tell you, if a chick waits hours to text you back, she can be busy. But I mean, if it's days in between, nah, she's not really interested in you like that. She's wasting your time. So never believe a woman when she says, oh, I got this text late. Yeah, right. Number three. I'm not ready to date right now. Basically, what she's saying is I'm not ready to date you right now. I don't want to date you right now. If a woman's ideal guy came into her life, do you really think she's going to tell that guy I'm not ready to date right now? No. See, here's the thing. When a woman is really interested in a dude, she does not even want to ruin it. She doesn't want to ruin it in any way, shape or form. She knows if she breathes the wrong way, a guy like the guy that she likes is going to go bye bye. See, when a woman moves her face, when you go to kiss her, she's not going to do any of those type of things or tell a guy, oh, you know, I think we should wait. Oh, I'm not sure about how I feel and the energy and the vibe and blah, blah, blah. She's not going to tell that to the guy that she really likes like that because she doesn't want to ruin the situation. A dude that, you know, she doesn't care about that. She just wants to waste his time. She doesn't care about messing up the situation. This is what you guys don't understand. Well, she did this because of this, and this could be because of this. No, she doesn't care like that. That's why she's like, I could just mess this whole situation up because I don't like him like that. Trust and believe. Like I tell you dudes, women are cutthroat, but they're never going to say exactly what's on their mind. They're never going to tell you exactly how it is because that's going to put them in a bad light. Number four, I need to get to know you first just means... I don't really feel anything for you that makes me want to desire you like that. So I need time to get to know you so you can overcompensate. So in case I don't like you and it turns out that you're not the guy for me, well, at least I got all your attention in the process. 
always know that when a woman says i need to get to know you more she already knows what type of archetype of guy you are that's it she doesn't need to get to know you more all right now if you want to go with that rhetoric you want to believe that stuff go right ahead but i'm telling you she doesn't want to get to know you when a woman really likes you she wants to rush everything she wants to be delusional to the things that you aren't doing that she tells other guys are mandatory number five i'll let you know She's never going to let you know. She's not interested. And if she does let you know, it will be sometime in the future when she's, you know, going through all her other options. Things don't work out. Yeah, she'll probably let you know then nine times out of 10. She's letting you know a bunch of nothing. Number six, the infamous. We can be friends, though. When a woman offers you friendship and she tries to put you in the friend zone, all you do is say, no, I'm good. I'm not trying to be friends with you. A lot of dudes don't understand. You put yourself in the friend zone by accepting it. You don't have to accept it. Most dudes want to stay close to a woman. They want to wait on their chance and she'll even be dating somebody else. And you're watching it go down. You're watching it happen, but you're waiting for that one day where she chooses you. Bruh, this ain't a movie. Cut it out. Number seven, it's not you. It's me. You see, when women say that, dudes are always going to think, well, what are, you, what are you talking about? I actually want you. You don't have to do that with me. Listen, listen. It is her, but she doesn't want you. So she has to make it seem like there's nothing wrong with you. Yet there is. The problem is she doesn't want you like that. Number eight, I need to find myself and heal right now. If a woman ever says that, she doesn't like you, bro. Like, you know, when a woman really likes a dude, she can still have her own life and entertain the situation with that dude. All of this, I need to heal myself. Heal yourself from what? You know, it comes a certain time where we have to be honest, okay? We've all been through stuff. We're all still dealing with stuff, but we can date. We can date, okay? Your emotions shouldn't even be all over the place, but women are women. Their emotions are all over the place, but trust and believe when that guy that they like comes into their life, they will be ready to date. They won't need to heal themselves and all of this crap, okay? So just remember that when a woman's like, oh, well, I need to heal myself. You should look at it like, okay, so you've been through a lot of trauma. You got things going on with you that I can't help you with. So I'm going to just move out the way anyway. Number nine, I feel like. So when a woman says, I feel like, you know, it could either go in your favor or not go in your favor. But if you're always trying to have conversations with her and make her understand or help her understand you better and she rebuts that with but i feel like listen a woman's feelings are always going to get into the way of things especially when you're trying to make things happen with her oh i feel like and it's never i know or i think it's i feel like don't deal with it okay listen let's test this out right now I want you dudes to go through all of my videos. Try to find a clip of me saying I feel like. You know why I don't use that rhetoric? I don't talk that way because my feelings don't matter. It's just what it is and what it's not. The truth and, you know, what's a lie. Reality, things that are fabricated. You know, like I don't worry about how I feel. So when you're trying to make things happen with a woman and you're hearing a lot of, well, I feel like this or I feel like that and she's offering all the, these goofy ultimatums, Listen, she doesn't like you like that. When a woman is saying, I feel like she's trying to bring you over into her realm of emotion, stick to what you know best. And that's being logical. Number 10. Well, you're just insecure. Okay. This just means, you know, you're not going for anything. You're not going for goofy games. You're giving instructions for her to follow. She does not like them. So therefore you're insecure. Or if she says something, and you're like, that's not right because it's not a fact. It's really an opinion and it's a goofy opinion. Listen, she's trying to waste your time. All right. If she's telling you you're insecure, she's just trying to groom you into be a beta male anyway. So that's trying to waste your time because by you becoming a beta male, you make yourself unattractive. And even if she stops dealing with you, you've got a taste of what it's like to be a beta male. So that's your only strategy. You will keep moving forward with that strategy. So it's a big waste of your time never take it serious when a woman says you're just insecure okay never take it seriously so that was five signs that she's just wasting your time things that women say and what they actually mean hope you guys got a lot out of this video it's your boy justin j get with you boys in the next video like comment subscribe let's go boys let's go welcome back to part three of not wasting each other's time the what are we edition and would it even make sense if we were let's get a move on do you have any intention of making me your girlfriend
Princess treatment is required to have access to my time, my presence, my body, and my affection and attention, all of which are more valuable than a man's. So the exchange that is occurring there are of two separate things. Just because you're giving me princess treatment doesn't mean I give you prince treatment or king treatment or whatever you're talking about. Obviously, if you're fantastic and you're consistent, yeah, you're going to feel like a king if you date me. But no, that is the cost of entrance to have access to my time, my body, my affection and my attention and my physical presence. 